Are you ready? Brooklyn, are you ready? It's go time. Count it down with me from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The contest is on her way. Joey Chestnut, Matt Stoney, they are the key to this competition. It's amazing, Stoney coming out straight with two hot dog meats. Joey looks to be a little bit ahead. This is gonna be a big event, Paul. It's interesting that here at the start, you're seeing some other names come in there. Chestnut now has four, Stoney three. We expect them to pull away quickly. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I am so pumped for this contest, Paul. If we were texting rather than actually speaking, I would send you two firecracker emojis, an American flag emoji, a birthday cake emoji, another American flag emoji, and to top it off, clapping hands. That's how stoked I am for this battle. This will be the best battle we've seen on this stage since about 2006. Hey, I come back with a smile, though, I'm telling you. <laughs> As we watch Stoning, he has the lead. Nine right now for Chestnut as they move back and forth. Joy Chestnut defeated Kobayashi head to head three straight years. And now he looks for his ninth win here at the Nathan. Unbelievable. 11 hot dogs after just a minute. You know, Affleck's somewhere in Brooklyn searching for his third. Jennifer, it took Joey just about a minute to get to that third plate. He looks comfortable, but Stoney is right behind him. Stoney with 12, Chestnut one ahead at 13. Last year, it was 56 for Stoney. That's a personal best. He's going to have to do better than that today. They still run neck and neck, Chestnut and Stoney. Let's go to Melanie. 15 for Joey Chestnut. 16 for Matt Stoney. Well, guys, when I spoke to Joey earlier this week, he stressed to me the importance of finding his rhythm. He said, I'll know right off the bat if it's going to be a good day or not. If I've downed 12 hot dogs in the first minute or, or 20 in two minutes, I'll know I'm off to a good pace. So at this point, they're at about 18 each. A little over two minutes in. Looks like a pretty solid pace. It is running neck and neck. Stoney and Chestnut. Nobody else is in this game. That is a 9 DPM right there. I worry a little bit about Stoney. I mean, he's keeping pace, but those hot dogs are wobbling around a bit like Steph Curry's mouthpiece. Steph had the room to fool around, play a little bit, but, you, you know, Stoney's got to remember he is going up against the legitimate best in the world in Joey Chestnut. He's got to maintain control. Yeah, but consider the changing of the guard. Joey's numbers have been coming down while Stoney's have been going up. Yes. 22 for Stoney. Chestnut, 21. They stay close. Stoney is one ahead. Actually, about a half dog when you look at the timing. Great stuff out of these two top eaters. But, you know, we talked about youth at the top of the show. There's one of the guys, Gideon Oji, a Nigerian. He was a Clayton State basketball player. He's six foot nine, and that height helped him on the basketball court. But that height is a detriment here on the Coney Island stage because if you think about it, Stoney's just 5'8". So Oji has to go to the... He's got 13 more inches to get to the stage, to get to the plate. Max, he's done is 16 dogs and buzz. Back to the battle for the lead. Stoney has 28. Chestnut has fallen a little bit behind. Is this maybe Stoney's day? I don't know if I'd say he's pulling away just yet, and we know what Chestnut is capable of in the final minutes. We're just we're just getting warm here today. You look at the dogs per minute count above each of the names. Stoney is in there, 7.91, drops off to 8.4. There's the big man, the bad man, Eric Badlands, Booker, Grandmaster, Flash of Corned Beef Hash. He finished ninth last year with 32 hot dogs and buns. Four minutes are now complete in competition. Stoney has the lead by one. He's maintained in that lead position for the past, uh, say, 45 seconds or so. I'm looking at the leaderboard. I don't know what just happened to Adrian Morgan. He absolutely disappeared. Like Stallone in Rambo 2. This kid's cut the cord. He's gone rogue. Adrian Morgan is nowhere to be found. But you see, there's really no difference between the rest of the field and these two. There's Eater X. Eater X. 
just a, a, a fixture out here in Coney Island. He may not be Joey or Stoney today, but he has the technique and discipline that a coach would love. It's two meats in one hand, the bun in the other. He puts the meats in his mouth, one to the left, one to the right. He dunks the bun. It has the twin benefit of dunking and wetting the bun while he's chewing down the food. Peter X last year, finished third, 10th straight year in competition. Right now, Stoney up there to 7.5, 7.3 dog pace, 37 dogs. Wow. You look at Chestnut, he's just a little down from that pace. Joey is going, though. He's fighting through it. You know, we learned that he, he did not indeed marry his fiance, which might have been an emotional challenge for him. But, you know, he seemed to be he seemed to be strong coming into this event. And he's, you know, 39 hot dogs and just and then, over five minutes. There's nothing to sneeze, sneeze at. That could cut both ways. Plus, he's got his brother helping him out. He does have his brother helping him out. And you know what? I think he's carrying himself beautifully. He knows he's got to come in here, try to win his ninth. And yes, he's a single man. It's back to flirting with the girls of Panera Bread after this competition. Well past the half may, halfway now. 14 minutes, 17 seconds to go. Stoney with 41. Now three ahead. Just pulling away from Chestnut. But these next couple of minutes really will make the key difference. It is. It just depends if Stoney can keep pace. And you remember last year, Stoney was ahead for a good amount of the competition, but then his DPM fell toward the final minutes, and that's what he's got to watch. He knows that. He's a student of the game. He's been watching his tapes. When you think about Stoney, it's his fifth straight year here. All he's ever seen is Chestnut win. Now he knows he has a chance. Melanie? Well, when I spoke with Matt Stoney earlier this week, he talked about his following. It's growing and growing on YouTube and Twitter. And he says just the thought of letting those people down absolutely makes him cringe. Lots of pressure on him today, guys. He's feeling it, but he said he feels different today. Something's different, and he's in the lead. Chestnut is most certainly not out of this game. As you see the dog per minute count drop further and further down. Chestnut just two behind Joey. Chestnut using his elbow there earlier to move that belly. That stomach of his, that stomach is beautiful, Paul. It's, it's a majestic stomach like Tom Brady's footballs, whether inflated, deflated, segregated, or castigated. That stomach is consecrated. I'm not giving up on Joey Chestnut just yet. Lots of eating to go. 6.8 to 6.5 on the dog per minute. Stoney notches yet another one, 48. Chestnut, 46. Stoney masticating, just breaking that down into the, the hot dog and bun into nutraceutical form with Sam Barkley of the IFOCE looking on. Of course, when you see the dogs per minute come up, you just do the multiplication by 10. Of course, it varies. It gives you an idea of where they might end up at the end of this day. Two minutes and 30 seconds left to go. Very, very tight here, under three minutes. Half a dog is the DPM difference right now. You know, we mentioned Rambo earlier, and I think it's fitting because both of these men want what, want what John Rambo wanted, and that's for American to love him as much as he loves it. Joey Chestnut loves America. Matt Stoney loves America. And with each bite and swallow of hot dog, they are proving that affection to the thousands here in Coney Island who are gathered for what's looking to be a historic competition. Matt and Joey continue to slow. 53 for Matt Stoney. Chestnut is at 50. There's a, just under two minutes to go. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very tight. Now, Joey's going to kick it in. This is where Joey plays hard. Last two minutes of the competition, everyone knows that. Any student of the game, even a casual observer of competitive eating, knows that Joey is killer in the last two, sec two minutes. The pace remains in favor of Stoney right now. Chestnut at 6.2, 52 dogs to Stoney's 55. A minute and 30. These two men are cut from heroic cloth, American cloth, sourced in China, sewn in Honduras, but 100% American cloth. These two brave men, 50-50, the cloth, because it stands more washings, but really great Americans, and they're going, going after those hot dogs today. Coming up to one minute to go in this great 4th of July tradition at the corner of Surf and Stillwell in Brooklyn. One minute, counting down now. I just, just, just saw the commissioner looking on from the pit there. He's an even-handed man. He's not given to creating scandals where none exist just to cover up his own failings. So Hungry Charles Hardy in the pit watching the final minute. It's going to be a tight one. The pacing still remains with Stoney. 6.19, 5.96 for Chestnut. About 30 seconds left to go. Chestnut is three behind. 
Paul, I think this kid is going to do it. This would be a huge upset. This would be Nova over Georgetown in 85. This would be the Pats over the Rams in Super Bowl 36. Youth is speaking in Coney Island today. Will Matt Stoney become the Jordan Spieth of tubed beef? We talked about the possibility. I'm not sure that I was believing it, but Stoney is at 60. We have under 10 seconds to go. They count down. Now five seconds. What's in the mouth counts. So they both are struggling to keep what's in the mouth in the mouth. The competition is now done, and it appears that Matt Stoney is our new champion. Well, Chestnut just flipped to 60. This is unofficial, but that was an incredible battle of two incredible oh athletes. God.